you like to suck my balls? Oh, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually... <clears throat> How would you like to suck my balls? It's the end of, it's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. While in the process of wrapping up this fucking show, I went to my favorite taco joint to do a little self-reflecting on the good, the bad, and the fucking stupid shit I've experienced over the last 10 fucking years. So I'm gonna spit out a bunch of shit that comes to my mind when I think about my work at Sub Media since I first started putting out seditions back in 2006. And hopefully set the record straight on a few things. Ooh, no. For some fucking reason, otherwise smart fucking people seem to get off on splitting the world into a series of competing categories. Good versus bad, left versus right, taco versus burrito. When in reality, shit's way more complicated and nuanced than that. For example, tacos are quite clearly the most delicious food ever fucking created. But some tacos fucking suck, like the ones that have pineapple in them. What the fuck? Burritos, on the other hand, can carry a wide variety of ingredients that tacos, due to their small size, cannot. Los burritos are way more portable. Fuck, I'm hungry now. Anyway, we take great pleasure in crucifying and vilifying the capitalist death machine known as the United Snakes, and nothing will make us happier than to see it disintegrate and the stolen land it was built on return to its original inhabitants. I think we make this pretty fucking clear in every single motherfucking episode. Yet, whenever we publish critiques of so-called socialist states, we are labeled as tools of the gringo empire and accused of being financed by the Clinton Foundation. Traitor! And on the flip side, right-wingers see our critiques of the orange one <laughs> as endorsements of Hill Dog and proof that we're funded by George Soros. If I can be real with y'all, people seriously need to get their heads out of their asses. This type of binary thinking is fucking useless. So let me set the record straight and please, Try not to be confused, because this shit is real. Donald Trump is a racist piece of shit. Hillary Clinton is a hawkish piece of shit. Bernie Sanders is a fucking sellout. Jill Stein is a fucking idiot. And Gary Johnson? Eh, nah, never mind. Authoritarian socialist states have jailed and killed dissidents, including anarchists. And so have capitalist states. They all need to be fucking smashed. I am an anarchist and a control freak. I love both tacos and burritos. I hate sexes, love hip-hop, hate... Dos. Identity politics are cannibalizing our movements. Important theoretical contributions that once served as tools for understanding and explaining shared experiences of oppression based on race, gender, sexuality, ability, and nationality are increasingly morphing into liberal bullying tactics used to shut down conversation and settle beefs and have helped to create a police-like atmosphere in our spaces. If you wish to avoid prosecution, I would advise that you comply with our language laws. And corporate social media outlets like Fedbook have created their perfect conditions for this liberal poison to fester and thrive. If I were you, I'd say for caution. Identity politicians, much like capitalist pigs, accumulate wealth and thus create invisible hierarchies. Him and Gordon split up. Oh, poor Jess. No, 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 we're all on Gordon's side. Sure. Where the people at the top can easily trash a conrad with a single status post or tweet that will further unleash the wrath of their followers and send said person into oblivion without much accountability or process. <laughs> While we struggle to rid society and ourselves of patriarchy, white supremacy, colonialism, capitalism, etc., we must find new and better ways of confronting the contradictions within our communities without chastising and exiling every single motherfucking person who has ever transgressed a rule they didn't know about, is not pure enough, or that hasn't reached the seventh level of anarchism. He is the one. It's problematic, you know? Traitor! Today! And in the years that followed, I said some really stupid fucking shit that hurt some comrades' feelings. While my intentions were never to make homies feel shitty, my use of certain words or descriptors were mainly due to ignorance. And thanks to the patience of peeps who reached out to me, I was able to see their points and remove certain shitty verbiage from my vernacular without having to sacrifice my love for fucking curse words and grotesque humor. So to those I may have offended, I'm really fucking sorry. Cuatro. Throughout the years I traveled the world screening my fucking videos and got to meet lots of good folks who were kind enough to offer me a couch, some dumpster food, and a dirty sheet to project my propaganda. I'd like to say once again, spank you very much. Cinco. So about Alex Jones. <laughs> Joking aside, and with this I'll shut the fuck up, because honestly, I'm sounding kind of preachy. Shut the fuck up. 
The extreme right media is kicking our fucking ass. In our quest for furthering our ideas, we've fallen prey to continually speaking to each other in a language few outside of our bubble can understand. An anarchist is someone who believes that the burden of proof rests upon those who claim hierarchical privileges for themselves or others. I take responsibility in participating in this. And honestly, it's pretty fucking hard to avoid. But if we want to fucking win, we have to stop acting like smug intellectual know-it-alls and practice what we preach. To all of you who harbor a burning desire to create radical media, fucking do it. And do it quick. But please attempt to make shit that's accessible. Don't make media that's gonna score you brownie points with your crew. And by all means, strive for creating the highest quality content you can. Especially when corporate fucks and racist scum like Alex Jones are cranking out slick ass shit. Ah!